Hello everyone, today I will introduce multiprocessing on GPU with Ray. I will introduce this little library called Ray. I have been using it a fair bit lately, mainly for running the inference on GPU with multiprocessing. What Ray is for, as the website says, fast and simple distributed computing. On one hand, we have tools like OpenMPI, Python multiprocessing, and ZeroMQ, which provide low-level primitives for sending and receiving messages. I also use Python multiprocessing, but it provides a different abstraction, and so a single thread must be rewritten from scratch to use it. And sequence order is not the same as the input order. I sometimes use data frame in a join to link the input with the output prediction. On the other hand, we have domain-specific tools like TensorFlow, PyTorch, for model training, Spark for data processing and SQL. These tools provide higher level abstraction like neural networks, datasets, and streams. However, because they are very high level, it's not easy to run inference. Ray occupies a unique middle ground. Instead of introducing new concepts, Ray takes the existing concept of functions and classes and translates them to distributed setting as tasks and actors. This API allows serial application to be parallelized without major modification, and it guarantees the sequence order to be the same as the input order. Ray is the foundation of many other libraries such as Tune, RLlib, which is used for reinforcement learning, and Serve, but today I will just introduce how to run multiprocessing on GPU with Ray. Ray is to make your code parallel without much effort. You can run on a single machine or multiple machine. All you need to do is to make sure that Ray has been initialized and decorate your function with ray.remote. And then instead of calling function normally, you call it with this dot remote function and it returns to you is a future. So it promises a value that will be returned at some point. You can actually pass this value to other remote functions and they will wait until the value actually returns. And finally, you, after you schedule all the tasks in the loop, you can use rate.get to get um, either one future or multiple future. Tasks can also depend on other tasks. In this example, multiply matrices task uses the output of two create metrics. So it will not begin executing until after the first two tasks have been executed. The outputs of the first two tasks will automatically be passed to um, as arguments into the third task and futures will be replaced with their corresponding values. In this manner, tasks can be composed together with arbitrary DAC dependencies. It is challenging to write interesting applications without using classes. Ray allows you to use Python class and declare it with ray.remote decorator. Whenever the class is initiated, Ray creates a new actor, which is a process that runs somewhere in the cluster and holds a copy of the object. Method invocation on that actor turn into tasks that run on the actor process and can access and mutate the state of the actor. In this manner, actors allow multiple state to be shared between multiple tasks in a way that remote functions do not. Individual actors execute method serially, meaning that each individual method is atomic, so there are no risk conditions. Parallelism can be achieved by creating multiple actors. In this example, the line count remote um, creates a new actor process, which is a copy of the counter object. The calls to c.get value.remote and c.int.remote execute tasks on the remote actor process and mutate the state of the actor. So if you print out the values, the first one will get you zero, and the second print will give you two. Now let's see how I use Ray to run inference on GPU with multiprocessing. 
When I implement the inference pipeline, I have a class called inference system, which is the initializer of the inference class. It initializes the model on one GPU. And in that class, I have a function called run prediction. It outputs the prediction of the model on the same GPU. And in my multiprocessing script, I wrap these two APIs in a class called model. And it has init function, which calls the inference system. And it has a function called predict, which will call run prediction. So now I have the class, which I will later on use in Ray. How do I proceed? First, I need to import Ray here. And then I need to decorate the model class with radar remote. I have 32 cores and four GPUs on my machine. So for one actor, I assign four CPUs and one GPU. And the model class content doesn't change at all. In the main function, I initialize Ray with a number of CPUs and GPUs, and then I create four actors. For all the videos, I predict the results for each image of the video, and I distribute them according to the index. So here, because I have four GPUs, I distribute them one by one to each GPU, so all four GPUs will be fully used. And finally, I use rate.get to obtain all the predictions. I prefer using Ray compared with Python multiprocessing. So in this section, I only introduce Ray. I hope it helps. Thank you.